So as some of you may or may not remember, I have checked out this Innovelli switch in the past, but they've added a few extra features that I thought were definitely worth taking another look at. So Innovelli sent out a few more of these for me to check out, and they're also sponsoring today's video. But as always, remember the opinions are my own. This is gonna be a quick unboxing, device handler installation, and installation on the actual wall. Without further ado, let's get started. What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech and on this channel we do smart home tech reviews, installations, and DIY guides. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any time, check out the video description for show notes and product links for anything mentioned in this video, especially these guys. So let's jump right into the box. They do have a dimmer option as well as just the standard on off, which is what this is in this case different use cases will require a different one. They also have the toggle style with the uh, little stick sticking out. I like this style better. The uh, Decora style with the Decora plate that will go over it. We have some uh, installation instructions here, which I uh, probably won't need, but I'll hang on to it anyway. As before, we have the neutral lead coming off of this, which we will need. And you'll also need to make sure that your gang box already has a neutral wire in it in order to install the switch. It needs that for constant power to the switch even when it's off. And we have an almond style and a white style if you would like to switch that out into almond, which is a nice addition. Even the screws, they give you extra screws, almond screws if that's your style. So there are some QR codes on the box itself for your different hubs we're going to be using smart things in this case that's probably the most popular out there and it's what i use as you guys know but i'm not going to use that qr code i'm going to show you a little bit easier way in my opinion just by going to their website and getting that device handler installed into the smart things ide okay so you'll need to go to your smart things ide which is just graph.api.smartthings.com that'll be the first link in the description down below and once you go there, you go to my location, you just click on your location name after you sign in, of course. And then you'll want to go ahead and go over to my device handlers. And from here, you'll want to create a new device handler. As you can see right here, Innovelli Switch NZW30 with scene is the one you'll want. I already have it, but I will show you anyway. So we'll create a new device handler. You want to come over here to from code. Next. Go ahead and hop over to innovelli.com. This will be the second link down in the video description and that'll take you to this page. What this does is show you the different abilities of the scenes and so forth. We're not gonna be covering much of that in this video. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, device handler code. We're just gonna copy everything here. Okay, now that everything is selected, go ahead and copy that and then go back over to our SmartThings IDE and we'll paste the code right there. Click create, and now it should say created smart device. And with the name Innovelli switch NZW30 with scene. I'm gonna save that and then publish for me. Okay, if we go back to my device handlers, you can see that I now have two of these, which are the same thing, no problem. Now that you've got the device handler installed, you can go ahead and install the switch itself. So let's do that. So this is where we're gonna be putting the Innovelli switch. Now before I install the switch itself, I need to jump in here and let you guys know that I made a mistake. These Innovelli switches are not supposed to be installed in line with a ceiling fan, I'm assuming because of the higher current draw of the fan itself. Now we never use the actual fan in our ceiling fan in our bedroom at all. So I'm not going to be using the fan until I replace that switch with something like the GE ceiling fan switch that is designed to work with a ceiling fan. I will still upload part two, which will go into the scene ability and all those other things uh, in the same room, just so you guys have an idea using that same location. After that, I will probably go ahead and replace that switch and put it somewhere else and put the proper switch in there. I just needed to jump in here and give you guys this quick disclaimer before continuing. Oh, and sorry about the noise if you can hear it. I've got my new toy going right now. So, yeah, back to the video. Oh, this is actually in our bedroom here. I was gonna put it down in the basement, but I realized that 
there's no neutral wire downstairs in any of those gang boxes, which is really frustrating, but that's beyond the point. So I've been wanting one here in the bedroom anyway to control the ceiling fan, not a big deal, but I also have some smart bulbs on some lamps here. So the benefit of using this Innovelli switch with the scenes is going to be able to actually control those lamps from right here with either double tapping up or double tapping down, for example. Let's go ahead and get that installed. So the first thing you wanna do obviously is turn off power at the breaker. I went ahead and did that already. I've got no power here. Now, I'm not an electrician by any means, but this is a pretty standard wiring setup and you should be able to follow along just fine. Well, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Good thing we're taking this off anyway. So we've got two black wires attached to this switch a line and a load. The load is typically on the top. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put a loop in the uh, line just to show that that is the line just so I don't get them mixed up. Wow, that's a, that's a quality switch right there. So with the included extension in the box, we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit larger wire nut for this because there's three of them instead of the two. And just screw that right on there. This is gonna be the first connection I make to the actual Innovelli switch. Now they left a little bit too much in my opinion here, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit of that off before the installation and then find the neutral on the back, which is typically the silver one. We're not gonna be using the Traveler because this is just a single pole switch. I'm gonna take the load, put it on the top one. Finally, the line. One last thing you wanna do is go ahead and add that ground to the green screw here. They didn't leave me much in here, so I'm gonna have to add that after this video. Just for demonstration purposes, pretty much done. All right, now we got added into smart things. This part is pretty crucial. You make sure you do it the right way. It should work other ways, but what you wanna do before you put power back into the switch is actually go ahead and go into your device and add a thing. When it's rotating like it's, it's trying to add a thing, then you wanna go ahead and flip that brake around. So I'll be right back, flip the brake around. I'm gonna leave this screen recording up. All right, so as you saw, I ran into a little bit of a hiccup and it said I had some errors while searching, but as soon as I cleared that, it came right up as in a belly switch. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to bedroom ceiling fan. Done, and we'll save it. Well, let's see if it's working from the wall. Perfect, and let's see if it's working from the app. Bedroom ceiling fan. Boom, it's working. So as you can see, this is not an ordinary Z-Wave switch device handler. There's a lot more features and settings available here. We're gonna be going into a lot more detail in the next video, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. All right, so we've got the switch installed and it is working as it should. As I mentioned, there are some additional features to this switch, one of which including, and probably my favorite, the ability to disable the internal relay on the switch. So what that means is after you disable it, pushing the physical button on the switch will not do anything. And you may be wondering why would anyone want that to happen? Well, what it could do is actually activate a scene and connected to that scene could be smart lights. Maybe that could activate a different color or set of lights. Maybe your whole room, for example, that's got smart lights in it connected to the main switch for the room. Voila, all your smart lights now have a physical switch. One of the big problems of smart lights in the first place. Another key feature is the ability to install this on a three-way or four-way system without having to replace both or all three 
of these switches, you'd only have to have one of in a Veli switch and then one dumb add-on switch in order to make that a true three-way switch. And that dumb switch will actually be able to control the relay within the Innovelli switch, which I thought was pretty awesome. Not to mention you'll be able to add up to 10 different scenes on the switch itself, which is probably way too many for anyone, including myself, but hey, it's there if you need it. So that's it for this one. Check out the next video for more details on the scenes and that internal relay and the three-way setup. Like I said, this video is sponsored by Innovelli. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.